few classes we were discussing about equation of kinematics uh, and we sort of assumed that there was some acceleration in those equations um, but uh, now we are going to understand what really causes a body to accelerate let's say we are going on in our car and we press the gas pedal then the car starts accelerating so what is the cause of acceleration and this was actually given by Newton who said that if we apply a force to a body which has a mass m then we cause an acceleration a to the body where we can we should understand that acceleration as well as force is a vector so in a way you can write the same equation as where we are assuming that we have this two-dimensional x y axis and um, f vector f has been written in the Cartesian system and similarly a and if you write it explicitly this should look like the two equations so uh, similar to the few last few problems we discussed we have broken the problem into two set of equations one solely for the x-axis and the other only for the y-axis okay so the object of three lectures including this one is to help uh, you solve the problem which will be uh, related with mechanics or finding the acceleration and the uh, topic of uh, well any problem in mechanics where by mechanics we mean finding acceleration of bodies in some mechanical system um, can be solved using uh, four basic steps there are four elements to this and we will start with the first one in this lecture and we'll talk about others in the other lectures so let's say we have a system like this we have a plane or we have a system like that there's a pulley, there's a mass and there's another mass that goes like this alright and uh, we know from real life experience that this mass will probably go down because this is a heavy, looks like this is a heavier mass and this is not really so heavy and assuming there is no friction on the surface we expect this mass to move like to ha get some acceleration or move down so if this guy has an acceleration a downward what is going to be the acceleration of this guy in the forward direction well some of you might have figured it out this guy should also be moving with an acceleration a only why because it's the same string that is connecting both the masses and because the length of the string is constant so the acceleration of this guy should be same as acceleration of the other one um, why did we do this exercise because once you will write Newton's equations for both of these masses you will not have to assume them to have different accelerations and if you do that then you will save a lot of trouble in solving the problem so the reason why we have uh, invoked this logic is to remove unwanted variables which we might have to use when we solve the problem if things are not clear that's alright we'll, it will become clear with other lectures but right now if this guy has an acceleration A the other one will also have an acceleration A so basically the topic of today's talk is constraints it's a constraint the length of the the length of the string is a constraint and because of this constraint the two accelerations are the same let's take one more example if we have a mass here 
a mass here and if this guy is moving down with an acceleration a what is going to be the acceleration of the other guy in the upward direction again this is very much similar to the first case this should also be moving with acceleration a so seems pretty straightforward but let's take a little complicated case let's say we have something like this and there's a mass here and and there is so difficult for me to draw things and there's a pulley here and there's a mass here now the question can be if this guy is moving down by A what is going to be the acceleration of the other guy up now you have to think about that <coughs> it, it will not be A so how would you find that and we need this relation because when we are going to write Newton's equations and these are called Newton's equations for both of these guys then this this will uh, simplify the problem if we know Newton's equations in terms of the same variable A so again the problem is if this guy is moving down with acceleration A what is going to to be the acceleration of this small guy going upward well think about it but let me give you the answer you can you can pause and think about it if you don't want do not want to, uh, me to tell you the right uh, tell you the answer uh, but the answer is a over 2 how well let's think about it if this guy goes down by length x so this string has increased in length of x so this guy has gone down by x so the length of the string on the left hand side has gone up by uh, d distance x well to compensate for this increase in length of this string there should be a reduction in length of these two strings so as because this guy is moving up now as you can clearly see if these two strings both contribute x over 2 and x over 2 then they sort of compensate for plus x on the left hand side <coughs> so if this guy is moving down by a we expect both the strings to go up by a over 2 I hope that that was clear so that way we were able to relate acceleration of this guy with this small guy think about it it's not very, really very difficult in the next lecture we will talk about free body diagrams